Hello dear Runnings, welcome to Running Hood. Today it will be an episode about what is Tamahagane, from the myth to the reality. So it's a long episode because it was a simple question but it took time to find answers. So first, smelting steel, melting steel. So the bloomery, the furnace, the tatara, iron works is a traditional method for smelting iron composites via simultaneous combustion of iron, sun and charcoal. This method remains the only method that can produce tamahagane, a special type of steel used for sword crafting even to this day. Traditional tatara from Shimane has 2.7 meter of length, around 1 meter of depth and 1.2 meter of height. It's a giant rectangle bath of clay used for smelting steel. With buried structure under Tatara rectangle bath structure was an underground structure of stone wood and clay protecting the Tatara from moisture and stabilize the temperature. Instead of the Tatara clay furnace, the underground structure could be used several times and not be destroyed and rebuilt with every new Tatara smelting steel process. Tatara iron works had long been operated around Shugoku mountains, as the area is abundant in natural resources conducive to iron making. The region is rich in granite, for example, which contains high quality iron sand. The large areas of forest also allowed for an ample charcoal supply required in the smelting process during iron making. This region once flourished as a center of iron production. At its peak, between the late Edo period and early Meiji period, late 18th century to the 19th century, 90% of total domestic iron production took place in this region. The town of Yoshida and Hunan city was the home of Tanabi family, the most influential family in the Tatara business in the region. The Tatara workshop operated by this family called Takadono is no longer in operation. The master engineer who was responsible for Tatara iron making was called Murage. Tanabe family main iron making site Sujaya Tatara in Yoshida town was making steel 60 to 70 times a year during Edo to Meiji era. For making Tatara, it took five days with two days of building the Tatara preparation for wood charcoal and iron sand quantities, then three days and nights of craft directed by the Murage. The three days and three nights melting steam process of Tatara is called the Itoyo cycle. The Murage evaluates 1300 degrees Celsius correct temperature of the Tatara at this time without thermometer but instead by the sound of the flames almost without sleeping during three days and three nights to watch carefully the furnace evolving. The slag which is in its liquid state is taped off from the furnace through a hole at the bottom of the furnace. The temperature in the Tatara was not uniform. Towards the bottom where it was higher and thus the reducing conditions were increased, the carbon atoms in the charcoal react with the iron atoms to form steel with various amount of carbon content. Bloomery furnaces have different advantages and disadvantages. The Kera Oshi method is also known as low temperature furnace. The temperature in this case don't reach the melting point of iron at 1000 510 degrees Celsius, and so the matter is not completely melted. Low quality steel, Zuku, pig iron of 2% of carbon in the steel, and Bukera, roughed iron with 0.2% of carbon in the steel, 
were representing 80% of Tatara production, and maximum production content with Tamahagane was around 20% of Kera. Kera was the iron sponge extracted from Tatara after smelting steel traditional process. Iron and steel technology arrived in Japan probably from China, through Korea, although this topic is still debated. What we know is that by the 16th century, the Tatara furnace was made of clay and it had the shape of a big box. Its dimension varied a lot, especially from regions and throughout the periods, but generally speaking, they were around 2 to 5 meters in length and 1 to 2 meters in width. The height could be around 1.1 to 2 meters as well as we can see from artistic depictions. These furnaces were much bigger than their predecessors and so could reach a higher temperature compared to the past. Relatively low quality components as Zuku and Bukera were forged into flat bars called Wari Tetsu after decarburization. The coal, the wood charcoal, bringing some carbon, is coming from Kunugi, the soft tooth, oak from Shimane Prefecture, what we call Kerkus Acutissima, the scientific name. Two types of charcoal were used in the Tatara iron making process. One was called Ozumi, which was fueled into the furnaces, and the other was called Kozumi, which was used for the decarburization process in blacksmithing. Decarburization is when you remove carbon from steel during forging process. As an enormous quantity of charcoal was required, the Teshi, Tatara owners, own vast forests and mountains to meet the demons, being the most influential family during the period at their peak, the Tanabi family own 250 kilometers square of forest mountains, an area bigger than the present day Osaka city. The town of Yoshida in Hunan city is surrounded by mountains. It was developed as the home ground of the Tanami family, the most powerful business family in Tatara industry. The business owners in the region's iron making industry were called Teshi, meaning iron makers. They used to, to own and run several iron making sites around the town blacksmith's workshop for Okaji were located close their residential property, which allowed them to practice integrated business operations. Tanabi family had long been appointed as a chief teshi by Matsu domain during the Edo period that allowed them to receive recognition as one of the top Tatara entrepreneurs. With the advent of the Meiji period, more productive western style iron making methods and the importation of cheaper raw iron had begun. Thus, the Tatara industry gradually declined and their Tatara business was finally closed in 1923. Iron Sun, the raw material. Iron can be magnetite, marcasite, or hematite. Iron ore is contained in iron sun extracted from earth for traditional salt smithing. The traditional iron sun is from Shimane in Japan, on the island of Honshu, it's called Satetsu. With 58% of iron in the sun from Shugoku region, common iron sun from Japan has just 2 to 5% of iron content. The supplier extracted from river or beach and then purified it. Iron sun containing also sulfur, phosphorus, manganese, vanadium, and titanium. Traditional Japanese iron sun contains magnetite and iron mineral component. Iron sun was found in high quantities all over the Japanese archipelago and it was concentrated in the Shugoku region. Satetsu could roughly divide it into three categories, Masa, Akame, and Hama. Masa Tetetsu was considered the highest in quality among the three 
and it was used to produce the famous Tamahagane. Aronson used for the Tatara operation was extracted manually by a mining method called Kananagashi. In this method, pickaxes were used to scrap off topsoil of a hillside which dislodged the soil containing Aronson. The dislodged soil was then poured into a sluice and flushed down to screening site. At the site, the iron sand was refined and finally collected using gravity concentration method. The iron sand was sourced from not only the mountains but also from the riverbed of the He River. The sand was harvested through the Kana Nagashi method where water was set to flow down a particularly steep mountain slope. To degrade wet thread granite rocks containing iron sand so that the washed raw iron sourced were deposited in a pond at the foot. The process is also called Suiro Ashiri or running the waterway. The concept is similar to panning for gold or washing facilities would be comprised of four washing ponds with higher quality sand present after each wash. The ore gradually sorted until iron sand constitute up to 80% of the material collected. The lighter earth drifts downstream while the heavy iron sand sinks to the bottom. Extremely pure iron sand can be sorted out through repeating the process. However, it is easy to see how long the process of acquiring good purified raw iron sand could be. Akame Satetsu is the lower quality and Masa Satetsu is the better quality for Tamahakane. The modern way of traditional smetil sting in the West use is with iron oxide, so iron ore, its source of iron. Iron ore contains slag and iron oxide. From the industry for modern smiths used by Western world small smiths. Walter Sorrell used red iron oxide that contains hematite. He is a famous American saltsmith. The blower. The blower forces air to accelerate the burning of coal, wood charcoal, keeping highest temperature with coal burning. Traditionally, air supply equipment. Substantial amount of oxygen were required to be input into the furnace during smelting. Foot billows with a seesaw mechanism were called tenbin fuego. They were invented between the late 17th and early 18th century in the Shugoku region. The introduction of new billow types resulted in a drastic change in the productivity of the furnace. Prior to 1906, air supply had long been operated manually. Water wheel generated billows were introduced to Sugayatatara in this year. Highest temperature. The highest is the temperature better the iron is purified, removing slag. So Tatara furnace has clay bath furnace. Charcoal, iron ore, air, melting temperature. 1300 to 1400 degrees Celsius on Kera Oshi method, traditional Japanese bloomery. 1500 degrees Celsius on Zuku Oshi blast furnace traditional Japanese bloomery, and you have 3,000 degrees Celsius on modern steel industry. The furnace is charged with iron sand or iron ores and then charcoal is added. In this phase, the first production reaction takes place and iron slags start to form. The temperature slowly rises and the slag, which is in its liquid state, is taped off from the furnace through a hole at the bottom. Iron ores, sand, are added again together with charcoal and while the kera grows in the size, the wall of the furnace starts to thin out. After three days, the clay walls couldn't bear any more reduction and the furnace is broken to extract the massive bloom. This process is called itoyo, which means one generation. <laughs>